Hello everyone, welcome back to the Banner Sega. Unfortunately, um, I chose a, a poor time to end the last episode apparently because I've been forced to refight this battle. So if you notice any uh, inconsistencies, uh, get off my fucking back. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, we have a fucking war to fight. So fucking Ubin is also still being a lazy bastard. That has not changed. Um, but we have a war to fight. And it appears that we have a slight advantage. So we could probably just charge uh, into their ranks. I'm sure my wounded party may hinder me a little bit. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. We're going to rush into battle here. Here we go. Yes, Hawken got injured as well as Bercy. Uh Not a big deal. We'll replace Bercy with Gnolf. Hopefully he might, you know, maybe he can redeem himself. Get a few uh, kills in there. But uh, here we go. I'm hoping that everything goes well. <laughs> Alright, this looks to be a pretty standard battle, you know, uh, we've got two lines uh, meeting here in the middle. There's no slingers, no nothing, but we do have two Dredge Scourge, unfortunately, uh, who are fucking strong. And then, of course, there's four Grunts, so what we'll have to do is get our most armored assholes, Mogir, as well as Fasult, to square off with those Scourge. We'll get Bercy and Hawken in behind them. And Luton can just fill out the ranks on the left flank. There we go. Hopefully, it goes well. Um, Hawkin, of course, going first. Mogir next. I think perhaps our turn order is actually affected by where you place the units in your party queue. I've just noticed that, so... That's interesting. I suppose it makes sense. I'm sure that was explained to us at some point, and I've just clearly forgotten like a big idiot, but... Uh, what can you do? Okay, Fasalt is moving post-haste to get into contact with this Scourge, but uh, it appears that they're barely moving for some reason. A bit of posturing at first, of course. Uh, I think Gris is going to be getting uh, surrounded and flanked by all of these grunts, so we'll have to get Ganulf to assist on the left flank. Um, he's going to trudge all the way over here. I guess Gunolf still doesn't have any exertion, so he can't actually use any of the willpower that he accumulates throughout a battle, which is pretty dumb, if you ask me. Pretty dumb. Okay, Mogir is now shoring up the walls here, uh, shoring up the lines, rather. Whoops, I nearly fucked it up. Uh, and he's gonna break a ton of armor off this Scourge 5 armor. Not bad at all. Uh, unfortunately, there's no splinter going on there, um, but Fasalt, of course, will also engage and do the best he can. He can only do, well, we can do four points of strength, and we might as well just to protect Mogir a bit, because, there we go, well, he didn't do nearly as much armor break as I thought he would be, but Luna is going to come and fuck him up as best he can. Impale, what does that do again? Knockback, yes, let's try that. We'll impale this guy. Kick him back. There we go. The more we condense the enemy units, the better. Uh, less opportunities for them to attack. Uh, but we will get Gris to attack. Uh, actually, we can probably do a battering ram on this asshole. Um, compress this force even further. Get that Scourge uh, surrounded by his own men. There we go. Uh, Fasalt has taken a massive shit-kicking, though. Uh, he is being attacked on all sides by all of these grunts and the scourge and it's not ideal for sure um, I prefer for him to stay in the fight okay look at this we're gonna expend two willpower points to get Hawken in the midst of it and we're gonna smash this guy for five strength damage that will have oh shit seven there we go this guy is utterly useless now one of the main players of the game is now f oh well shit there goes Hawken immediately uh, and Mogir is also useless because we pushed that Scourge back. I didn't really think about that one, I guess. Uh, we'll just have him rest for a turn, I suppose. <laughs> Fucking useless. There we go. Fassel, though, is going to have to start dealing out some damage to these Grunts, though. Otherwise, he's going to get taken out himself. Only three points, though. Not ideal. Oh, shit. <laughs> Massive moves by Luton here. Just took out that guy with his bleed effect. Saved our skin, and otherwise he would have been, uh, you know, summoning assholes out of the abyss. Okay, there we go. Luton once again, saving the day. 
Fasolt continues to be, you know, he's getting the shit kicked out of him. He's losing a lot of armor, but uh, luckily Gris can make it up to him by uh, weakening that one grunt. Um, make it up to him? Is that something that needs to be done? I don't know. Uh, Gnulf may actually prove useful here. He'll deal seven points of damage to that uh, grunt. Oh, shit. He also killed that grunt. Oh, fuck. There goes Luden. For once, Luden has been put down by... Well, it's this Scourge right here. He just absolutely wrecked him. He wrecked him and damn near killed him. But Mokir will be taking care of this asshole next turn. Um, If we deal with this quickly, we may be able to sustain another wave, which would be great. But we have to do as much damage as we can to this Scourge before he has another turn. Otherwise, he'll just knock Mogir right out, or even Hawken. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Fasolt is gone, uh, and Gris is left to pick up the slack, basically. What is this? This is not just a regular Grunt, it's an enraged Grunt. Oh my... Oh, shit, there goes Gris. No, I don't think we're gonna be able to do another, uh, another wave, not with all of our units at half strength. We've got Mogir and Gunalf right now. Those are our only strong units, but we're knocking out these two grunts with this Tempest. There we go. Not a bad move. Gunalf has just earned a promotion right there, I believe. Uh, it was bound to happen eventually. Uh, somehow he proved himself worthy. Um, but we can get... Um, I think Hawken is about to get his ass kicked right here by this Scourge. Yep, there he goes. Uh, but Mogir will take care of this guy. No fucking problem. Yeah, we'll have to decline a second wave. Uh, hopefully we don't lose too many warriors. You know, not too many. Um, hopefully. Okay. Gnolf is gonna move and take out this Scourge if he can. No, he doesn't have the exertion to make it all the way over there. Uh, but I guess he can take out this Grunt. But that leaves Mogir... Well, Mogir can definitely handle it. I'm kind of wondering, if you decide to attack a second wave and you fail, is that... Oh shit, he already... How does that work? I thought he had to wait for his own turn, but no, apparently we got another grunt on the way. Miscalculated that a little bit, but there we go. We only have this one grunt to deal with, and then that's the end of the battle for us. Yes, I was saying, if you fight the second wave, does that... Is that uh, more detrimental than just not fighting it in the first place? Otherwise, you know, you just fight every single wave that you, you can. Um, maybe that's a valid tactic. I have no idea. Uh, Gris, unfortunately, cannot move, so we'll just put him there. We'll have to have him in the back lines because he's only got one point, and we don't want him injured if we can help it. Uh, Gnolf here, there we go, seven points of damage. Uh, we'll have to promote Gnolf, like, immediately, because he's pretty useless without exertion. Um, he's got all this willpower he could be using to break armor and the like, but no, there's nothing for him to do. But there we go, he's earned his promotion, uh, plus some, I believe. Okay, uh, let us pull back before they regroup. There we go, one fighter, 16 Varl, that's not bad at all. I'm sure we can, we can absorb those losses. Okay, three injuries as well. Not great, but uh... What's going on? I had one eye in the fight. Next time I look down, Dredge are swarming into the courtyard. Can't tell how many more are waiting out there. But it's a lot. If we're getting back across the bridge, it'll be a fight. Any options? Not really. Unless you want to wade into that valley, we're going to have to leave the same way we came in. Hawken, I think you should take a look at this. Nearby, the man had been bundled and laid near a short wall protected from the wind. I think this man is a mender. That raises more questions than it answers. What of it? The Spellweavers in Ridgehorn? Why? Maybe they know something about what's happening. If he's going to tell us anything, we need to get out of here alive. Okay, let us... Okay, well, first we need to rest a little bit. <laughs> Holy shit. I agree. Let's decide how we're going to defend this dump in case they attack again. Each day we wait here, the dredge are going to pile up. How many will there be tomorrow? Double? What about the next day? Uh, look, it's your call, Hawken, but we can't cut and run on this one. There's one way out. If Varl fall, 
If anyone falls fighting here, they'll be left behind. Okay. Let us... Well, Luden is really the only opposition we have in these decisions right now, so I suppose let's uh, ask his opinion. Maybe he has some bright ideas. Now you consult me? Take a running leap from the tower, Hawken. I could not care. The courtyard goes silent as you recall his recent loss. Mogir coughs. Ooh. I guess that this is pretty awkward. <laughs> Mogir breaks the sil silence. We we rest then? Question mark. <coughs> no, we've got to go. Ready the warriors. Sure, Mogir. We'll rest. We'll rest for at least a day. Uh, actually, no. You know what? If we if we wait, then more dredge pile up. I, I think we can just muscle through. We, we've got to go right now. Otherwise, there's going to be more dredge to handle more losses. Let's just fucking steam it out of here. I don't like it, Hawken. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, one day couldn't have hurt, I suppose, but... It would be better not to... Rest, I suppose. Okay. We're ready. What's our approach? Bait the dredge into attacking and wear them down. Break through the front lines and don't stop. Send the shield bangers forward and fight defensively. Go all out, strike hard, and drive them off. Send a diversion to draw their attention and escape. Okay, um, let's see if we can... None of the... Oh, they, I mean, they all seem equally fine, except for a diversion, I suppose. Uh, if we send a, a diversion, those guys are never coming back. Uh, I suppose we could send the she shield bangers forward and fight defensively. Uh... A lines of shield bangers we what a lines of shield bangers we might be able to force my god a lines of shield bangers we might be able to force what a line of shield bangers might be able to force themselves over the narrow pass and put us in a much better position could be a safe option but it depends on exactly how many are out there let's consider other options we'll we'll see what mogir says about all of these options Right, if we can get enough of them to split off, we can handle them a lot easier. Might be worth a try. Consider other options. Uh, break through the front lines. Could work, says Mogir. As long as everyone sticks to the plan and there aren't more dredge than we expect, we'll make a big show of force. If we split into groups and meet up again at Schlid, we're less likely to, likely to be surrounded. Consider other options. That does not sound like a good thing to do. Uh, strike hard. Well, that's how we'd usually deal with a bunch of dredge. You're right, though. The old methods might still be the best. And if we can win this fight on our own terms, we won't have anyone following us all the way to Grofheim. Consider other options. Uh, send a diversion. Hate to admit it, says Mogir, but this might be the safest option. I just won't expect to see them again. He gets a strange expression on his face. I'll lead, he says. I can make sure you and the others escape. Oh, my God. <laughs> we could sacrifice Mogir here. To get ourselves out of here. We don't want to sacrifice anyone. Uh, we want... We don't want to leave anyone behind and sacrifice them. Noble as that may be, I'd rather go out swinging. You know, we... we I'm pretty sure all of our warriors would rather just go out singing, swinging. Um, I say we go with my original option. We'll send the shield bangers forward. And... We're doing this. Okay. Holy shit. I'm hoping this goes well. Your shield bangers gather at the front of the group and push forward through bashing maces and exploding shrapnel. With few casualties, the caravan has crossed the land bridge. Now it just remains to fight your way out. As Mogir predicted, they surround you from every direction and you start cracking heads as soon as the shields give way to the crush of enemies pushing past. Oh my god. Okay. Open battle yet again. Um, our party is severely injured. Uh, unfortunately... But that's... There's no other way out of it. We gotta fight our way out here. Oh my god, look at this guy. What the hell? Flame Slinger. Shit, that guy seems like he'd be a big pain in my ass. But we've got a Scourge as well as a Stone Guard. Two Grunts and a Slinger. So I'm wondering if we can pile onto this flank and defeat them before... No, we might not be able to actually. Um, Let's see, we'll get... Hawken paired with, uh, well, I want Mogir near the big units anyway, as well as Fasalt, actually, but I can't actually move anyone because of how this deployment zone is situated, so I guess this is our deployment. Uh, wonderful. Okay, never mind. I was gonna strategize, but it, fuck it. It's going out the window. Here we go. We're fighting. Uh, Hawken is gonna go after these grunts and slingers. Supported by Luden, I would think. We gotta get, uh... 
Mogir and Fasol to take care of these two assholes with the other two, maybe? Would that be a good pair? Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to find out. Hawken, of course, is getting the shit kicked out of him immediately by this grunt. We'll just get Fasolt actually to uh, help him out a little bit. Do some armor break, perhaps. Two points. Oh, piddly. Flame Slinger. Ah, uh, this is gonna scare the shit out of all of our Varl. Uh, Luden is going to assist with these big assholes, actually. He seems to be very effective against them. Uh, he can weave in and out of their lines. Hopefully he doesn't get absolutely destroyed by them, though. Singled out and destroyed. Okay, Gris. Uh, I suppose we'll just have to move to support Mogir. There we are. Very far from the battle, unfortunately. But here we go. Luden is... Nope, he's safe. But Gnulf immediately is taking damage. He really needs way more armor. Um, and unfortunately, he's paired up with this stone guard who has tons of armor, so it's, you know, not ideal. Not a good pairing at all. Gnulf is basically getting the shit kicked out of him immediately, and he's really just out of the game. Uh, five armor break on that asshole. Fasalt can deal with it next turn. Let's see if we can box this Scourge in as best as possible. We'll get Gris down here, maybe. A uh, bunch of armor break on this defender. See if we can get him chipped down as soon as possible. There we go. Fasalt is all over it. Blam, that grunt is now useless. Uh, we would really need to deal with the slinger, though. He seems to be... Oh, shit. There he goes. There's the bombs. Um, let's see. What the hell's going on there? Two bombs are thrown, each causing two strength and armor damage to an area on the next turn. Okay, we gotta move uh, Hawken and Fasalt out of there, like, ASAP. ASAP uh, as soon as possible, asshole. Um, I feel as if we put loot in here, this Scourge is just gonna come and wreck his shit, like, immediately. Unfortunately, um, there's not really anywhere else for him to be that would be effective, I guess. Uh, we'll take our chances. We'll put loot in here. See if he can do any useful damage to this guy. That's not bad, though. Not bad at all. Hawken, one more. Oh, shit. Two points of damage. Gris is going to have to hole up our defenses here, and we're going to expend two points of willpower, actually, to get into position. Hopefully, the Scourge goes after Gris, not Luden. Uh, but Lu... Oh, shit. Gnolf, actually. Gnolf has taken damage, but we need to move him so he doesn't get wrecked by that bomb as well. Um, but he, he does not have the strength right now to do any damage to this defender, so armor break it is. Uh, Slinger's a useless piece. Well, actually, he did quite a bit of damage to Gnolf there. Uh, but we'll get Hawken after this Slinger, if at all possible. Uh, Sundering Impact. I wonder... Perhaps this will do... Uh, there we go. A little bit of damage to the other units around there. But there we go. As I predicted, Luden is completely fucked. And Mogir ne now needs to step in and seal the deal here. Uh, I could do four points of armor or strength damage. I'm going to have to do... Strength, I suppose, to make it easy on Gnolf. Uh, well, no, it's just to make it easy on himself, I suppose. Uh, Fasalt is gonna have to move as well. We'll move him up by the Slinger. Oh, Gnolf just got wrecked. Ah, oh, shit. Every f fucking battle because he does not have any armor. What a stupid asshole. Okay, there go the bombs. And they didn't damage anyone but uh, their own units, which is freaking great. Um, Luden is... He really has no choice but to try to flee from this Scourge. And he's going to uh, actually do an impaling move on this guy. Get some bleed damage on him. Here we go. That's really all he can do. Gris is going to take care of this Slinger. Um, and actually deal with this Scourge in the following turns. There goes the Stone Guard. He's taking some bleed damage. And he decided to take out... One point of damage uh, from Luden, but I mean, it. what a weird move. Um, kind of useless, uh, but Hawken is going to attempt to do, I don't know, anything to these uh, slingers. I'm wondering if I Sundering Impact this guy, will it spread to the Stone Guard as well? No. Okay, Mogir, unfortunately, just got uh, cock-blocked by this slinger, so we're going to have to move and take him out uh, right away. And Gris will hopefully be able to 
move into that Scourge uh, sometime. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to take out... Uh, I suppose we can't do any damage to this Grunt, so we'll have to do... Uh, well, no. Let's just do some armor break to this Grunt. Two points. Hopefully, someone will be able to take care of it in the next turn. Hawken, deflection. Awesome. Uh, Luden, uh, he's very weak right now, and he'll do one point of damage to this Grunt. Uh, might as well make him as useless as possible. There he goes, Luden, though. He is wounded yet again. Now, Gris has to hold up the middle of the line, like so. Hawken is getting the shit kicked out of him, as per usual. Uh, but he can do quite a bit of armor break to this Grunt, and Fasol can take care of it next turn. Unfortunately, that's... Oh, shit, he just deflected. What a son of a gun. I thought Hawken was toast right there, but... Uh, for some odd reason, he was able to deflect the attacks of that... Uh, I, well, I suppose Hawken has all of his armor, basically. But it's not enough for this Scourge. There he goes, Hawken is down. Uh, Black Hawken down. <laughs> That's gonna be the name of the episode, I, I'm gonna say. Black Hawken down or something, I don't know. Um, but Gris is able to move and take out this Slinger... Uh, grunt, rather. There we go. Might as well just take care of him right now. Clear the way for these Scourge and Stone Guard, because we'll take them care of them uh, very shortly here. Um, Mogir is able to completely flank these assholes. He's going to take out this Stone Guard so we can get to the Scourge next turn. And uh, I think this is it. We've basically wrapped up this battle. As long as Fasalt stands, I think we'll be good. Mogir's like at full health. Gris is at full health. Uh, and Fasalt is very nearly. There we go. Five points of strength damage. And now we just have to deal with this Slinger. I think uh, Gris can handle that one. There we go. We've we've won. They're fucking useless. Okay, um, pillage mode engage. Let's see. Gris can handle this guy. Ta-da! Battle one. I'm really hoping we don't have to fight another wave. And this, I, I I'm hoping actually that we are able to flee from Ridgehorn right now because uh, I don't want to have to fight another battle. <laughs> Uh, let's see, though. We'll continue with the first wave of dredge out of the picture. You stop and take stock of the battlefield. No, it's a multi-wave situation. Your warriors are doing as well as you could hope. Fortunately, there were enough of them to pull it off. The dredge are furious but falling quickly. You think you could safely outdistance them at this point? You're almost free of this nightmare. What to do? Um, if we start to run, the dredge will just follow us and we'll have to deal with them later. And Hawken has made a blood vow, basically, to leave no dredge alive, so we'll see if we can handle another wave here. Run from dredge? Not after everything you've been through. You redouble your efforts. Every last one of them on this field are going to go down. L fuck. Wonderful. Okay, we've got some of our party back fully healed, uh, Mogir Gris. Good, uh, I'm glad we don't have to fight a second wave uh, as we have previously done. We are able to recoup our forces here. And, uh... Continue on. Maybe this wave will be a little bit harder. Unfortunately, our troops are... Oh, shit. No, it's just slingers. We got this one in the bag, I think, even though there's a sun slinger, uh, which has the sun strike ability, a regular slinger, inferno slinger, uh, which is the same as the fire slinger, I would guess, but a little bit stronger. Odd. Uh, okay. Let us uh, get going here. Hawken is immediately able to get into base contact with this uh, Sunslinger here and will do five points of strength damage. Blammo. Yeah. Wonderful. Now this Infernal Slinger is going to get fresh. No, he just decided to, to take a nice stroll forward. Mogir, uh, the absolute bastard of the battlefield, trudges... What? Oh, it's the bombs. I was going to say, what the fuck is this asshole doing? But we'll have to avoid those bombs next turn. I'm not sure what the blast radius is on those. I would say it's one square. So I'm wondering if we can just move Mogir, you know, up here. That would be far enough, perhaps? I'm not sure. I I honestly have no experience with this. Oh, shit. They're always picking on Hawken for no fucking reason. Uh, let's actually get Luden right into the thick of it. He'll expend three willpower points and start to fucking knock these guys down. Cut them down to size. There we are. Um, oh shit, Fasol took quite a bit of damage there, actually. Uh, we'll get Gris to expend a point as well. 
And, uh, yeah, let's see, it's Gnolf next. Gnolf, the useless asshole, still has no exertion, of course, so we'll have to, uh, just trudge forward like a stupid idiot. Slow as fuck. What the- oh, this guy's also throwing more bombs. And he's just laid a massive minefield for all of our units. Uh, Gris is gonna be absolutely fucked unless he moves, so we'll have to get him on the case, like, immediately. Um, let's do four points of armor break to this guy so Gnolf can take care of him. Oh, shit, there goes more gear. Uh, he got destroyed immediately. I thought he would have a chance to move, but no. Um, let's see, he's down quite a lot, actually. That took four points of strength and four points of armor. That's quite a lot, and I don't think Gris is going to be able to move either, if that's the case. Um, but we can start to take these assholes down one at a time, as always. There goes Gnolf, though. He's starting to get fucked up. Um, I'm gonna have to move Fasalt out of the blast radius, but there's nowhere for him to go, so we're just gonna weather the storm and bring the thunder to these assholes in the middle of the field. Gris is about to get blown to high heaven, I think. Oh shit, four points, are you kidding me? But look at this, Luton is just gonna go right in the middle of them. He can manage that because he is a small unit, and he's gonna bring the pain. He's gonna do, uh, two points of damage to this Inferno Slinger. I think we want to get these Fire Slingers out of the picture as soon as possible, because that... Oh shit, he's able to move, wonderful. Um, there we go. We want to get these assholes as out of the picture as soon as possible, because, uh... That, uh... That bomb ability is just dreadful. <laughs> there he goes. We just knocked out... Oh, no, that slinger is still going, but Fasalt is basically out of the picture at this point due to those bombs. Um, Gnolf is not really able to do much, but he'll do something. Something in the form of one armor break on that guy, and I think Fasalt is probably going to be the first to go in this situation. And Hawken can take out that sun slinger. There we go. Okay, we've corralled the slingers in right now, and that is all we could have hoped for. We're going to take out another Slinger right here. Oh, there we are. I hope Luden will be able to bring these guys down to size a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll do some armor break on this Slinger so Gnolf has an easier time. Eventually, I suppose. Oh my god, so much armor break from these guys. I cannot believe it. But Gris will take out this Slinger right now. There goes the Inferno Slinger. Deal done. We just have to deal with this Fire Slinger now. I'm sure Hawken and the rest of them can handle it. Gnolf, uh, useless as always. We'll, uh, try to do one more armor break. Ta da Wonderful. Good job, Gnolf. Give him a pat on the back. But Hawken will now... We'll do more armor break, actually, so we can expedite the whole, uh, killing process here. Mogir can take care of that right about now. Five points, not bad. It's funny how they just keep retreating uh, between my uh, my men, like... You could retreat a little bit better, perhaps. We're gonna get Luden to move out of the way a little bit here. There we are. Uh, I should have got him to move south and take out this guy, because... Now we gotta do... Yeah, Gris cannot make the move there, unfortunately, but Gnolf can. There we are. Now he can attack for one armor break. Hawken can do some damage, I would assume. Six points, it's pretty good. Seven. Now this guy's fucking useless. There we go. We've survived this wave as well. And I'm thinking, hopefully, we are able to make it out of the fucking fortress now. Oh, and we can perhaps see what's going on with this Mender. Um, I have absolutely no idea what the Menders are about. Um, I think they're lore keepers, perhaps. They mend banners. If I recall correctly, I have no idea. I think this man is a mender. The spell weavers in Richmond. But anyway, we're continuing onward here. And there we go, we're fucking free, holy shit. We made it. <laughs> Back on the old road. Oh my god, look at all these fucking dredge bastards. Oh, what? What a fight that was. Somehow we made it out alive. Uh, and we only lost, like, I don't know... 13 Varl or whatever it is. Um, but here we go. Are we making camp or something? Oh, I see. We are moving ever onward towards Schlid. Oh, uh, we've bypassed Schlid entirely, actually. 
And we are now near the two spears, or King's Barrow, you know, in that general vicinity. Very near to Grafheim. Morale has become poor. Ooh. Can we camp anytime soon? No, I can't. We're on ra railroaded here. We can't actually do it. Okay, here we go. Hawken, join me a moment. There's something I thought you'd want to see. Is it a welcoming party from Grafheim bearing mead? That's about the only thing I want to see. No such luck. The mender from Ridgehorn woke up. He says his name is Avond. Sounds like a mender name. How is he? Oh my god, look at this guy. Not well. Where are we? A day or two from Grafheim. We found you at the Tower of Ridgehorn. What were you doing there? Grafheim. No, no, that's the wrong way. Juno, where is she? Where's the woman who was with me? She didn't make it, my friend. We only brought the living with us. No, we have to go back. I don't think so. We barely made it out two weeks ago. Do you know why the dredge were crawling all over Ridgehorn? Dredge, we have to go back! <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's a lost moment here. <laughs> Kate, we have to go back! It's a damn graveyard, boy. I'm sorry, Avind. The girl was dead when we got there. What we have to do is tell Jorindir what's happening and prepare for a bloody war. So if you... She is dead. I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. Avon suddenly looks spent. He slips to the ground and you motion for some vial to help him onto the cart. Not what I'd hoped to hear. Not sure what I was hoping. Come on, Ubin. Sooner we get to Grafheim, the better. Alright, I just want to rest. My party needs to rest Threat so I can... Oh my god. As we approach Grofheim, none of us expected to see a city unscathed. But what we find Holy steals shit. the very breath from my lungs. Welcome to Grofheim! <laughs> oh my god. Talk about cliffhangers. Holy shit. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. I might as well just end it right here. I'll see you next episode.